uh, we are going to continue with our exposition on the book of Hosea, chapter 11, verse 7, which says, And my people are bent to backsliding from me. Though they called me, sorry, though they called them to the Most High, none at all would at all would exalt him. Kiswahili? Kiswahili <coughs> nasema. Na watu wangu wame jipinda kuniacha ingawa wawaita kuenda kwake alie juu apana hata umoja atakaye mtukuza. Here we see how God is complaining about his people. And his people here are the children of Israel, the ten tribe, because Hosea was sent unto the ten tribe. If we can go back a little bit on verse 6, which we did exposition last time, you will find that in verse 6, Hosea said, And the sword shall abide on his cities, and shall consume his branches and devour them because of their own counsels. So here we saw that because these people, instead of sending their eye unto Canaan, they had reached a point that they wanted to return to Egypt. And God said in verse 5, He shall not return into the land of Egypt, but the Assyrian shall be his king because they refused to return. So God intervened and said, you people, you want to go to Egypt. You are not going to go to Egypt. And if you are going to go to Egypt, I'll not be your king anymore. The king of Assyria will be your king. That one we saw in our exposition. So the sword here that will abide in his cities, the sword that will abide in his city shall consume his branches. We saw that the sword here represent many calamities that after they refused God to be their king, that means they no longer followed the, ten, the commandment of God. They were after these worldly riches. Then God left them alone. And from that moment, there were many calamities which are represented here by the sword, which also consumed their branches. Wakawa, from that time, Israel could not anymore bring children unto God. Watoto wakawa, wanazawa watoto, lakini si watoto wanani, watoto wa mungu. Na wakati tunasema wanazawa watoto lakini si watoto wa mungu nukumanisha, there comes a time that the children that are born in a generation can no longer hear their parents. Wanakuta, you cannot tell them. They become the, the father or the counsel of that generation. And that one, we can get it in Isaiah, Isaiah 3, verse 12. Soma? Inasema, katika habari za watu wangu, watoto ndio wanao waonea, na wanawake ndio wanao watawara, enyi watu wangu wa kuongozao wa kuhakikisha wa yako 
That is it. So here you can see, as for my people, that's where they had, they had read. As for my people, children are their oppressors. And women rule over them. So the moment women rule, they collude with the children. Meaning the society as a whole, the father or the parents, when you say the father, the men, manake, those form the foundation of any generation. Unakuta, they are no longer least listened unto. Hakuna pari wako na usemi. And in fact, ukita kuangalia, we have seen it in this generation. There's nothing you can tell this generation. What they want to do, that's what they are going to do. No matter how much the old men were there are guiding the people the way to go, they don't listen. And especially young men and women. You can see. So Hosea, Isaiah here is telling them, all my people, they which lead thee, cause thee to err and destroy the way of thy path. Koivo, the nation of Israel was destroyed by the women and the young men. They destroyed that nation because men left the leadership and women. So, that's why in verse 6 and 7, the sword, it will consume everything, even your branches. You know, people, sometimes it is hard to understand, but if you, you look at a tree like this one, you'll see the root. The root here represents the father or the man. The branches represent the women. And children. So if you want to remove, if you are not going, if you want to remove the, the, the root, do you think that tree is going to stand? No. That tree is not going to stand. It is going to either. That's what happened in nature. So the moment people decided to do that, then that was a problem. So when you come to verse 7, it says, and my people are bent to backsliding from me. That means these people, no matter how God uses the sword to bring them back unto him, Mungo Nasema, all the time, they don't want to be on my side. They are backsliding always. walikuwa wameshikwa na mambo ya mwili paka there was no one time hata ikifika pale ingine wanaona kana kwamba wanakosea lakini bado mwili unafanya nini inawavuta kwa hivyo hawakuwa na nguvu ya kukataa hizo nguvu za mwili my people are bent to backsliding if if they do anything in the way of reformation it is upon some external motive their hearts are inclined another way hata kana kwamba unaona kana kwamba wanafanya mambo kidogo ambaye wanataka kufurahisha Mungu hiyo yote wanafanya with a certain motive not because they love God wanaifanya just because they have some interest pale ya pesa hata ukiona wana praise God they are not there at any moment they are in the way of backsliding. Yaani Mungu anataka kusema hakuna njia ambayo walikuwa wanashika ambayo ungeona kweli hawa watu wanataka kurudi kwangu. Yote ilikuwa ni njia ya kuwasaidia wa backslide. They are like bark of a tree bent contrary to its nature by external force. Ni kama vile unaona muti umelala pale moja unasukumwa una, una na upepo wana bend to a certain yani direction na hiyo direction ile wame set ni ngumu sana kusimamia kuwasimamisha tena warudisha the other side they are bent and yani backsliding sasa thus it was often with israel 
upon some extraordinary work of God, they would do such and such a things, but they were as a deceitful bow that soon starts back. Ukiweka a bow like this, ukiwachilia about unafanya nini? Ni kumaanisha hata ukiona kabisa hawa watu wanataka atu wanafurahia Mungu. It is like a bow ambaye hata ukiwachilia inarudi wapi? Kwa hivyo walikuwa set. Inafika pahali watu they are set to backslide. Hata mkijaribu kufanya namna gani? Like a present generation. Don't think na nimewaambia mara mingi sana. Pahali tumefika ukiangalia the churches. In fact, kwanza this time kanisa imeanikwa vibaya sana. That there is no church that you can call a church ambaye inaweza saidia the present generation wajue neno la Mungu. Hakuna. Watu ambaye wananunua na pesa nane. Pesa nane na politician. Their bent is on money. Their bent is on money. Sasawa. So if we look at many individually their heart are bent for backsliding from the ways of godliness which they began to profess as as does many young men many young ones and others who have had workings of their hearts and have made great profession of religion yet never having had their heart changed start back now and that is for many reasons kwa nini ha watu ile jia wameshika even the young people ambaye wako this generation ama walikuwa katika hiyo generation hawagweza kurudi nyuma they were bent to backsliding mpaka wakati they were destroyed so ni nini one it is because god's way have been unsuitable to them and therefore they have found them hard and tedious You see when we say God way has become and un- became unsuitable to them ni kumaanisha if truly you have no knowledge of what you have of what you are after the knowledge of God if you set all your mind unto this world the, then the way of God become tedious it is no longer pleasing unto you and you cannot even waste your time that you are seeking for that way of god and kabisa kabisa this generation iko namna hiyo we have the scripture we have the word of god with us we have many yani yani many uh, doctrinal literatures but nobody want to seek the truth wale ambaye wanajifanya wanapenda ukweli sana wanaenda kanisa they want technical appearance wengi wanaenda pale kwa sababu wataka waonekane they are members of that church nobody is interested to dig deep even if a pastor akiongea kitu ambaye hayapatani na ukweli no argument these people they don't want to yani they just want to hear even lies even lies inafundishwa kanisa wakati huu tuliona hata wale waana wa Israeli walikuwa namna hiyo even wakati Amos anataka kuja ku reform the church the priest at that time tuna, anasema wewe Amos enda ukafundishe pale nyingine hiyo unafundisha lakini hapa sisi uta we saw it people were tedious walikuwa wamechoka wame na neno la Mungu hivyo ndivyo inafanya Eh, Mungu aseme these people their inclination is backsliding they are tedious wamechoka wale wanaenda kanisa wanataka kwenda tu one hour na sio one hour they are going to discuss the word of god hapana ni waenda wakae pale pastors afundishe mambo yake mmoja watoe pesa waende nyumbani that's being tedious we ni kuchoka nobody want to use his mind hata kufikiria hata kidogo Nobody. Na ndio unaona hawa watu wanadanganywa paka politician anakuja tu na kitu ambaye it is wildly na anawadanganya. Unakuta kanisa lote 
Inafuata ratwi. People have lost the knowledge of God. Nobody want to know the knowledge of God. Sasawa. They have grown weary of the ways of God. That is a weariness of the ways of God. They have grown weary. Hakuna wataki kusoma. Bibiria na kuambia hii haisomwi. Watu wataki hata kusoma Bibiria. Sometimes hata wanaweza kufundisha mtu kitu ana shida kama iko kwa Bibiria. Na amekaa naye miaka yote kwa nyumba. Lakini kuisoma hakuna. They have what all advantage how they might get off from their profession. Wengine hata akienda pahali hataki kuwa hata aingie aingie pahali awe absorbed fully. Manake he doesn't want to commit him, himself in that place. Anataka akae pale kama kama anakalia akipata chance anaenda. Anaangalia all advantage how he might get off from that from that profession. Na hata akiona kama ameshikwa sana anaanza ku regret. Why did I put myself in this place? Kwa hivyo hana haja. Anataka aende pale. He want to be a back bench anakaa pale. Lakini mambo mengine no. Because yeye he has more work to do in this world than what he can do in the church. Many in the churches are materialist. Watu ambao kabisa haja yao ni ya ni pesa kwa natafuta pesa. They think that they can buy heaven with money. Yeye yeah, akienda kwa kanisa anataka aone tu ametoa pesa. Lakini what goes about the doctrine hiyo hana haja naye. Wengine they are ignorant people. Whatever wanafundishwa they don't care. Lakini wanafundisha yani wametengeneza yao ambaye itafurahisha wale watu wale, wale, yani wanafundisha. Hiyo yote ni backsliding. Those are the, the way a, a church backslide. False doctrine, false teachers. Wengine they are fantastic, fantasy. Wanataka kwa sababu fantasy. Fantasy ni nini? Wanataka kwenda tu kuiba kwaya. Akienda kwa kanisa yake akiwa kwa yani ameingia ame, kwa kwaya if he akicheza wimbo pale hata kana kwamba itafundishwa nini hana haja yeye ni mtu wa kwaya bas atakaa kwa hiyo kwaya mpaka maisha yake yote that is backsliding manake praising without knowledge it is nothing hata uki praise namna gani without what you are praising you are doing nothing wengi wamesimama pale So they have been sorry that they have engaged themselves so much as they did. Wengine hata wataki hata yani they don't want to engage themselves. Wanataka tu muda kidogo sana. And that's why the present generation pastors they have learned something that if you, if you want to catch people in the church fundish a very uh, small sermon of 20 minutes 25 minutes watu watakupenda so any opinion hawa yani sasa tunasema kwa nini Christ anasema hawa yani Mungu anasema they all want to backslide any opinion that will give them a liberty from that straightness which they made profession profession of before they are willing to embrace and entertain Pavel Kubanisha when you come to the church there are so many doctrine taught in the church about a true christian how he is supposed to worship god or how he is supposed to grow kwa hivyo wakati mtu anakuja na any opinion and that's how the present preachers wanafanya ambaye itapatia watu liberty ya kutokuwa wanahusika sana na kutafuta Mungu watu wanafurahia hiyo ni kusema that is being weary of god watu wanatafuta wanatafuta liberty wanatafuta yani vile wanaweza kuwa as, yani as, as less as possible wao kwa kanisa if there be any practice that they may yani that may give them any more liberty they fall presently to eat and so 
they come to backslide kama kuna kitu ambayo inaweza kuwafanya wawe kanisa iwe aishiki mtu as much as possible kama kuna any doctor ambaye inaletwa ni a shortcut unakuta watu hiyo ndio wanataka na wanaangukia hiyo na hivyo ndio wanataka little do they know that that is backsliding wengi hawajui hata wale wanaowafundisha hawajui that the moment unaanza kuleta short sermons kwa kanisa you are making people weary of god hautaki kuwa yani kuwafundisha kwa sababu wa hawawezi taka kuistahimili hiyo masaa mingi ya kufundishwa neno la Mungu they don't want it so their actual backsliding are but a fruit of the bent of their spirits their spirit were bent to backsliding before and what they do now is but a fruit of the inward inclination kwa nini inafanyika hivyo ni kwa sababu ndani yao inside they are not after god they are bent and backsliding hii mambo ambayo tunaona tunaona kanisa linatafuta njia shortcut za kufundisha watu the, yani tu vitu ya juu juu is just manifestation of what these people are that generation vile iko ndani very soon utakuja kuona hata watu watakuja kuona hata hakuna haja ya kwenda kanisa saa hii ukiangalia there is a generation ambaye hawaendi hata wataki kwenda kwa kanisa why sasa ina manifestation inaenda ikijitokeza wazi inaenda ikijitokeza wazi there is coming a time whether unaenda kanisa ama nini watu waoni kama ni kitu wewe tu enda That's where we are. Yani sasa hapo ndio tunaingia. Musifikirie ati kuna changes ya tutakuja kupata katika kanisa. Churches are going to be worse and worse. Worse and worse. Hakuna kitu ambaye tunapata tunakojea ati itabadilisha. Hawa walikojea kanisa likawa likafika pahali mpaka Mungu akasema hawa hakuna kitu kingine. Kazi yao hata wakijaribu kuliform but their nature is bent unto backsliding. Sasawa. So here we have seen that or we see that it is a great evil for men to strive with their consciences. When their consciences put them upon the ways of God they think that there is good in God's way and that god is not well pleased with their present causes and that it might be well for them if they reformed so wakati watu wanaweza kuwa wako na conscience ambaye inawaonyesha they need reformation hiyo inakuwa kama mzuri sana but kama itafika that watu badala ya kusikiza their conscience they are striving with their conscience sasa hiyo is a great evil manake nini hii inafanya watu wataki kwenda kwa kanisa there is something in man ambaye inamuonesha i need to worship god <coughs> but hata conscience yake kabisa ikitaka kwenda kwa kanisa unakuta badala ya kufuata conscience watu waabudu vile atakikana they again they start striving with their conscience yani conscience yao tena wanaanza ku strive with it kumaanisha inafika pahali he want to god lakini yeye mambo ya mwili na msukuma mpaka unakuta That concerns ya mbaya nataka Mungu tena anataka kuifanya kwa his own counsel kwa ile njia yeye mwenyewe anafikiria ni kwa sababu anataka aonekane anaenda kanisa lakini bado hiyo kwenda kwake it is external I, there is a power inamwambia aenda lakini yeye bado 
external kuna mambo inamfuta ya mwili mpaka unakuta he is the same same person he is fight with his own conscience he is fighting with his own conscience na ndio niliwaambia people have never known when you go to astro you will find that binadamu ndio anajiletea all the calamities ambaye zinakuja kwa sababu ya yeye yeye mwenyewe his thinking vile anangengana ana na Mungu why we are all connected with the universe and our fighting our conscience we are fighting god and when we are fighting god nature is going to give us all to to give us evil result sasa hapo tunakuta karamete zina, zinaongezeka lakini watu hawajui ni kwa sababu gani because it is because we are not in harmony with god we are fighting ourselves we are fighting ourselves we are fighting with god because we are part of that god that's why we say we are created with the image of god and god is in us and we are in god so whenever we fight with ourselves with that truth and that conscience that uh, uh, that understanding of god in us we are fighting with god and when we fight with god nature is not going to promote our welfare in this world kwa hivyo we are going to harvest the evil of nature watu watalia wanasema sijui nini lakini they don't know why it is because hawajielewi na ndio tunaambiwa there is more evil in the least seen than there can be good in whatsoever all the creatures in the world can tender to thee dhambi kidogo sana there is more evil kwa ile dhambi ambayo tunatenda nataka na kwamba ni kidogo sana we create a lot of evil for ourselves in the universe na hiyo yote ndiyo tunaambiwa wakati waana wa Israeli walitoka Misri waliambiwa namna gani kama mtafanya yale yote nimewafundisha the diseases that the heathens wanagojeka mtafanya nini hamtagojeka you know some words are written lakini binadamu akiangalia anaona kana kwamba they are just written there but they have no meaning calamities ambayo tunaona diseases maugonjwa yote inaambatana with a rebellious generation hawezi panda eh wheat we expect kuvuna mahindi hapana so haya mambo yote ndiyo naona yanafanya this generation na ndiyo ilifanya wale unajua when we say Ningetaka turudi kidogo pale. Wakati Mungu anamwa, anawaambia ukienda katika Hosea that is 11 sita inasema no five He shall not return into the land of Egypt but the Assyrian shall be his king. That means God is not going to be their king. And we saw that you come to the new Gen- yani new testament when people are back sliding back to egypt that means you can you don't want to return to god who is going to be your king satan satan it is satan now and that's why wale watu wanaona wakati ati wako kwa kanisa they cannot imagine that waangalie zile vituko wanafanya waona kabisa kabisa they are not directed by the wisdom of god waona kabisa there is another wisdom ambaye inawasukuma which is false is not the wisdom of god unaona the church it may involve itself with the politician of this world baka you cannot differentiate who is a a man of god or the man of this world meaning the leaders of the church have lost the wisdom of god why 
It is the same way that God said, you want to go back to Egypt, then I'm not going to be your king. I'm going to let you, to let the king of Assyria to be your king now. Na hiyo ndiyo aliwaambia, naye, if he is going to be your king, mujue na nyinyi, the sword shall abide in this city and shall consume his branches. Meaning, we don't expect good things, my dear friend, going forward. What we are expecting, people have not yet tested and they'll come to see. Ni kwa sababu, watu kwa kweli, wamemukataa mungu. Watu wamemukataa mungu. Watu mpaka, mpaka wanafika, wanasema, afadhali upande wa mungu. Pahali, the place where the, there is a lot of people are dirty, ati hiyo ndiyo upande wa mungu. Can it truly God be called with those people to be one, I doubt. That is subject to be debated. Arafu mungu wanasema, God is saying, in the same verse, though they called them to the most high, that is, the prophets and messengers of God called them to the most high, they wanted no means to the ministry of the word, they were called to the most high, that is to God. Badu hawa kusikia. You know what wanaesa kusema sahi wa seme? How come during that time the children of God or the children of Israel the prophet was sent unto them? What wa seme? We have not seen the prophet in this time. Ambaye wametumwa kwetu. Because what wanaesa kuagiu mungu wakisema ati alituma hawa alikuwa na watumia prophet kama, kama Hosea ama Isaya mbona sisi hajatutumia wakati huu do you think mungu, mungu ametutumia mnafikiri mungu ametuma prophet ama hajatuma ametuma how that is it the same prophet ambaye walikuwa wametumwa ndio hawa wako katika biblia if we are, we are not heeding the word how akitumiwa our prophet the, the, there was no written word that's why iliandikwa so the same prophet are talking to us the way they were talking to who to those people this word was written for us so hosea is there jeremiah is talking to us isaiah is talking to us but if we have teachers who cannot interpret the scripture to tell the people the truth, we are, we are just not hearing the heed of God. Na hapo tunasema, hata kana kwamba the most high called them, they were called, hawakusikia. Hata sisi ni hivyo. Nani amekataza sisi tufanye exposition ya the book of scripture tuelewe mambo ya Mungu? Nani amekataza? Hakuna. Nani amekata yani nani ameleta mambo ya prosperity kufundisha kanisa ambaye imefundishwa wapi katika katika scripture iko so na ndio nasikia pale akisema katika Hosea 11:6 anasema and the sword shall abide on his cities and shall consume his branches and defoe them because of their own concern sio concern ya nani because the concept of God is the scripture iko lakini wale walikuwa wamefika sasa walikuwa wameweka hata the, the word of God yaani Hosea anaongea yaani Isaya anafundisha lakini yote hakuna mtu alikuwa anataka kusikiza ilikuwa ni neno lao vile wanataka wao ndio walikuwa wanafanya na walikuwa wanafundisha mambo yao so hata sisi ni hivyo nani yale yanafundishwa saa hii ni wapi imefundishwa that politicians they should they should come in the church waambie watu mambo ya politics iko hakuna that is their own concept hiyo ni mambo yao ni mambo ya watu tu wanabuni wana sio mambo ya Mungu kwa hivyo hatuwezi kusema ati haya mambo Mungu anasema ati haku haikuwa inafundishwa ama tuseme ati prophet hawa alifundisha wale hawaku wako wako na sisi kwanza sasa wameletwa mpaka wapi? Mpaka mkononi. Mpaka kwa mkono. Dati mtu akiwa pahali popote atakuwa kwa gari, he can open a scripture na asome. Lakini nani atasoma? 
Afadhali mtu aandike yani aandike uchafu mwingi sana katika media but not the word of God. Nawaambia hivyo kwa sababu mimi I am in media kwa sababu waga nataka kufika kufikia watu wengine. Lakini ile uchafu inaongelewa pale. Ukiangalia wale watu wana like unashangaa. Not in Kenya alone, the whole world. The whole world. People love evil more than good. Na usishangae in the future we shall never we shall never have leaders of integrity in this world being elected anywhere. The more you will be evil, the more you will be light. Hivyo ndio inaendelea. Na itakuwa hivyo. Vile utakuwa kabisa wewe unakaa mbaya sana in the society. Utakuja kuona wakati unakuja kusema unataka wewe ndio watu watasema this generation sio sisi sisi Mungu akinini tokuwa tumeenda hii generation ambayo inakuja hivyo ndio watakuwa nafanya mambo ya integrity inaisha completely kabisa in this world watu hata ile kitu wanataka tuwezi kujua ni nini hakuna kitu ambaye yatuweza kusema wanataka wanataka tu mambo ambayo ni ya mwili mambo ambayo haina maana so Though they called them to the most high that is the prophet they never returned unto God they called them to the most high that is they called they called them in the ministry of the word that they that they might know him that is they might know him the most high but they never heeded the call They never heeded the call. Hawakumsikia. Hawakusikia the prophet. They were called so that they could acknowledge God. They never acknowledge him. Ilitokea generation ya watoto ambaye hawakuwa wanajua the historia pale walikuwa wametoka in Israel. Ikafika wakichagua king ilikuwa after every one year unakuta huyu ameondolewa ame there were so many killings and assassination in israel ilifika generation ile ilikuja ikawa ukisoma the, yani the history of the yani of the children of israel the ten tribe utashangaa utashangaa the life ambayo walikuwa nakaa ndio utaona yale mambo tunaendelea saa hii yani apa unaiona vile nawaambia itakuja kuwa namna hiyo wale generation ilikuwa imebaki they never wanted yani wao hata ilikuwa inashindikana hawa watu wanataka nini leo wanaweka huyu dakika kidogo nakuta huyu ameondolewa wanaweka mwingine that was the life that's what the life na ndio naona hata wakati uki, ukienda katika the two tribe wakati solomon alikufa Watu mtoto ya Solomon wakati alienda kuwa advised akaambiwa wazee wakaambia Solomon ndio uongoze hawa watu vizuri baba yako alikuwa ameongeza taxes sana fanya hivi you reduce the tax tax ndio at least watu wafurahi na maisha iwe mzuri lakini wakati alienda kwa vijana aliambiwa namna gani aongeza mara ngapi Aliambia usisikiza wazee kasa wewe ukitaka vizuri kasa Unajua watu wanaona mambo mengine yanafanyika wanaona kana kwamba it has never happened it has happened So Rehoboam wakati aliambiwa na vijana wewe unatakiwa kukasa hawa watu wachana baba yako baba yako alikuwa hata alikuwa lenient usisikize hawa wazee huyu aliwahurumia sana wewe wakasa so wakati alifanya hivyo what happened the nation of israel ikapasuka mara ngapi mara mbili maana kuna wengine walisema hapana hatuwezi kubali hivi who directed rehoboam vijana kama angesikiza wazee mambo ingekuwa sawa mambo so haya mambo mnaona yakifanyika 
ikifika pahali ati wa mama na watoto na vijana ndio wana, wanasema kwa inchi that nation ni kuisha inaisha ni kuisha inaisha kwa sababu pahali kuna wazee pana pana nguvu ni kwa sababu wazee they lay the foundation of a nation they lay the foundation of a nation lakini wakati sasa watu wanasema at the at the young generation ndio ndio the future leaders lakini uongozi kama unaanza ukiwa watoto ndio mnasema sasa mnataka kuwa ndio mnatawara the word of god haikosei wakati inasema many nations zilianguka ama zimianguka kwa sababu ya hiyo kwa sababu wengine ni tamaa so mungu anasema hawa watu in always walienda and to backsliding kwa sababu ilifika pahali they never acknowledged him they never submitted their will to him whose will is supreme above all and especially in matters of worship wali walianza kufanya mambo yao you can remember wakati jeroboam ali 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 ali, 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 ali form the ten tribes akajenga two temple one at Bethel ingine at Dan what did he do wakati the, the levite walikataa kufanya kazi katika those two temples aliappoint nani aliappoint watu wake akaappoint watu ambao hawakuwa ukoo wa levite yeye yeah, bado walikuwa tu anataka aone watu wanafanya sacrifice pale kwa katika the temple na hao watu ambao walikuwa nafanya kazi pale kwa temple they were priest na in fact that temple ilikuwa nafanya all yani most of the things ambayo ilikuwa nafanywa at the temple of, of Jerusalem the difference was the priest ambao walikuwa nafanya katika those temple of of, uh, of Jeroboam wote walikuwa wana yani wanasikia yani wanasikia yale Jeroboam anasema they were never after the truth ili unakumbuka hata wakati watu hawa wengine walisema hapana wacha tukaabudu katika Jerusalem Jeroboam akasema hawa mapriso akasema waweke visuguu izunguke iangalie pahali watu wote wasikubaliwe kwenda wapi kuabudu Jerusalem why it is because Jeroboam was not after the worship of God ye yeah, alikuwa anataka nini alikuwa anataka watu ambao watafuata yeye wamweke kama king na waya wakimwabudu kama king he was not after the, the true worship of god hata those calves ambayo aliweka katika bethel zote alibakia watu watu walifurahi mpaka wakasema long live jeroboam kwa sababu jeroboam amewajagia ame the temple lakini wao kujiuliza hii temple ambayo tumejengewa is it worship god or Baal or Satan manake Mungu alikuwa amesema namna gani ataabudiwa wapi Jerusalem hawakufikiria mind yao ilikuwa imechukuliwa na Jeroboam mpaka hata hata wakati anawaambia mtakuwa mnaabudia hapa wanapiga makofi wanafurahi sana ati at Jeroboam amewajagea temple karibu na pali wanaishi kuliko kwa na Jerusalem was Jerusalem very far no God Jerusalem was at the center. Na all nations ambazo zilikuwa pale zikienda wapi? Lakini sasa wakati kuna kuja mtu anamwambia mnajua nini? Hakuna haja ya kwenda huko, nitawajakea temple hapa. Hakuna hata mmoja alifikiria neno la Mungu limesema namna gani? Wacha tuangalie hili neno. Na wale ambao walijaribu kuja kuambia hapana people could not listen. Hawangi wasikiza. Kwa sababu waliwekwa hatred ikawaingia the hated Rehoboam sana na wangetaka kusikia anything to do with Jerusalem wakahate na wakatoka na wakasema hawataenda Jerusalem tena kuabudu pale that's the way people are kwa hivyo yale yanafanyika wakati huu usione kana kwamba ni ajabu sana the history repeat itself watu wanafika kapali they are reasoning they are dethroned of their reasoning 
Unakuta watu wamebaki tu ni watu tu ukiona wakitembea but nobody is reasoning. Wote wamekuwa wametekwa. Wame wametekwa kuanzia the priest kuanzia wale the leaders of the church unakuta ukiwaona ni nguo tu imebaki nguo mrefu tu unaona amevaa lakini even reasoning it self waone hapa inatakiwa hivi he cannot guide anybody hakuna na naongea hivyo kwa sababu i'm this world and i'm observing at wale kabisa unaweza fikiria wanaweza guide generation ambao wako wako kwa kanisa ambaye ni watu unafikiri wanajua unakuta wao ndio wamepungukiwa they cannot reason out things hata pahali dhambi inakaa imechipuka juu inaonekana wazi even heathens ambao wajada kanisa wanaona unakuta wale wako kwa kanisa kabisa hawaoni tuko pahali pabaya sana my brethren tuko pahali pabaya sana hawa watu walikuwa hivyo walikuwa wameshika jia ya backsliding na hawangesikia the prophets wale wanafundisha ukweli. Wale wako saa hii wako na the same prophet wameandikwa katika scripture but they cannot listen. They cannot follow them. So what difference are we? Tofauti yetu na wao ni gani? So they could not submit their will. Hawangefanya hivyo. So men heart naturally seek down to low and mean things. Men's heart naturally sink down to low and mean things. Things unworthy of their soul. Unworthy of that excellent nature with which they are endure, uh, uh, sorry, endued. Watu unakuta ile kitu ambaye ni ya maana. Watu wanakuwa so degraded that ile kitu kabisa haina faida. It is not worth their soul. Unakuta wote hiyo ndiyo wanainamia na ndiyo wana, wanataka. Ni afadhali wakufe. Hata wengine wanauana kwa sababu ndiyo attain wapate those things, temporal things of this world. Afadhali wakufe ama wawe wengine. Lakini they attain. They seek so low paka hata wewe mwenyewe ukikaa ukiwaangalia sometime you moan peke yako unasema haya I, I never thought tutafika pahali kama hapa so the heart of man want a true elevating principle and the knowledge of the most high that's what we need that's what we need we need a pre- elevating principle to the most high because that's where we are going That is our end. But all what we have these are external this, this life is temporal. Is life of is is just a temporal things. Na tunaiona every day mtu anakufa anawacha hii na anaenda. Kwa hivyo ni kumaanisha Mungu na tunasema this is nothing. There is nothing this world. Worthy you are yani worthy you are wasting all your time then you disregard the most high they did that because they were bent unto backsliding lakini nobody angewafundisha awaambia pana so it is a great and so evil to stop our ears against the calls of the word It is evil. Watu wanafunga masikio kabisa kwa neno la Mungu. Wao walifunga. Manake Mungu anasema, hata wakati waliitwa, walijaribu kuitwa warudi, hawagerudi. Kwa sababu walikuwa wameshika jia ya kupotea. Saa hii the same thing is happening. Watu wamefunga masikio kabisa. Hakuna mtu saa hii unaweza kumwambia anything. You cannot tell anybody of anything about the truth. Wale wameshika ushukani makanisani, they have no need. They have never thought that they can reform. Nobody 
Hakuna mtu anaona kabisa ile njia imepita ni mbaya. Hakuna. Wengine hata wanajaribu kufungua makanisa zingine ndio waongezee. Lakini hata wale wanaokosa makanisa nobody ambaye anafika pale anasema no this way no hakuna hata moja. Nyinyi wenyewe mnaona the leaders vile wanakaa ambaye kabisa they would have been the hope of the church. Lakini wananunuliwa pesa tukiona mchana pesa na politician wananunuliwa pesa. Na wao ndio the hope of the people. Sasa kama the leaders of the church wamenunua pesa, what about the, yani watu wa kawaida? Sasa wao wako wapi? They are sheep without the shepherd. Wamewachwa kama kondoo. Hawana walizi. Wale ambao wanafikua wa, yani walikuwa nafikiria ni walizi ni mbwa mwitu. Si ni kweli? Mm-hmm. Eh, ni mbwa mwitu. Ambaye hawana haja na kondoo. Hajao wanataka tu yani manyoya ya kondoo wauze wapate nini wapate pesa hawana haja na kondoo hata wakati wanaona mbwa mwitu akija kuingia katika katika the, the, yani yani eh, 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 sizini ya ngombe they don't they cannot even one the sheep Hawa, hawana sauti hata kuna pahali Isa anasema ni mbwa ambaye afanye nini? You read Isaya 56:10. Ambaye inasema his watchmen are blind. They are ignorant. They are all dumb dogs. They cannot bark. Sleeping. Lying down loving to slumber Ibu Soma Kiswahili Kiswahili nasema Walinzi wake ni vipofu wote pia hawana maarifa wote ni mbwa waliao pupu hawawezi kulia wote ndoto hulala hupenda uzingizi Nasikia These are the these were the the, the, the teachers wale walikuwa wanafundisha wakati huo they were blind what about ours today they are ignorant ignorant ni watu ambao hawajali they don't care what they teach as long as they get money they are ignorant if you can say that a preacher is ignorant what about those who are being preached at itakuwa wao wako namna gani kama the preacher themselves they are ignorant Yaani kusema ni watu they don't even hawezi atapambanua uongo na ukweli my friend tumefika pahali that hata 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 unashangaa the preachers hawezi pambanua uongo na ukweli waambie watu ukweli watu wanaongea uongo tu na ni kanisa open lies wanaambia the congregate they are dumb dogs a dog that cannot bark ni kumaanisha umbo ukiweka pahali hata ikiona mwizi hawezi bark there ni kusema ni hawezi hata it cannot want anything kwa hivyo hiyo umbo ni bu ni bure haisaidi ni kumaanisha these preachers were dumb ni kusema they could not help they could not warn that something is coming because umbo inaweka wapi hawezi kupambanua nyakati waambie watu wawe a wajitayarishe wajitayarishe ama kufanya watu wa, kuwafungua watu macho ndio waweza kusikia shetani akifanya nini Aki, yani waweza kumuona sheta, shetani you keep a dog ndio mtu akiingia pale ikufanya nini ikupatie wani kuna mtu anaingia so these were dumb dogs they could not bark they cannot bark sleeping walikuwa melara walikuwa melara lying down loving to slumber ni watu kabisa kazi yao tu ni kulala tu wakisema the men of god the men of god lakini they cannot one the people unakuta uongo inaenda mpaka unakuta a pastor anadanganya the congregate mambo ambayo obviously 
The congress atakiwa kujua hii ni uongo. Sasa the pastor mwenyewe ndio anapambaza hiyo just because of greediness. Greediness. Ukisoma 11 nasema, yeah, they are greedy dogs. Sio mimi nimeandika, is a word of God. Yeah, they are greedy dogs. Which can which can never have enough. Hivyo nikumaanisha nini? Hebu soma 11 na Kiswahili. Na ndio watu wazeme ni mimi nimeweka hiyo. Hmm? Nasema, hmm? "Naam, mbwa hao wana choyo sana, hawashibi kamwe. Na hao ni wachungaji wasioweza kufahamu neno. Wote pia wamegeuka upande wasi wazifuata njia zao wenyewe, kila mmoja kwa faida yake toka pande zote." Hebu <coughs> zikia. Vile walikuwa Is it not what we are seeing? Eh? See ndio tunaona saa hii. So the word of God ikiongea ujue inasema yeah they are greedy dogs. Now ni ma pastors. Na vitu mimi hata na shida hawa watu wanasomanga hili neno wapi? Maana yake hawajioni hata neno likiwa likiwa likiwagonga namna hii hawawezi yona wajue kabisa kweli hii neno la Mungu limeongea. They are greedy dogs. Which you can never have enough. Which you can never have enough. Mtu ana yani amepatiwa pesa na washirika, ametajirika, amekuwa na mali, lakini he can never have enough. Hata afike pale aseme, "Mwanake have reached this point. Let me now try to tell these people the truth." Nifanye nini? Niwasaidie. Yeye anataka tu kuongeza uongo na uongo aendelee kupata na kujenga hapa duniani. Na nakwambia wewe ukitoa utabarikiwa naona ukibarikiwa. Na yeye yako ndio anataka umpatie umbariki naye. Wewe ubaki wewe ubaki yani bila kitu. Sasa na ndio naona the same yani the same Mungu anasema katika eh, the same Isaiah 66 verse 3 nasema wao ambaye walikuwa wanaongoza watu wakati huo anasema he that killeth a knox is as if he slew a man he that sac- sacrifices a lamb as if he cut off a dog's neck tunaelewana he that he that overlaid an oblation as if he overlaid the swine's blood unajua hapa nataka kusema namna gani hao watu walikuwa wamechafuka because the sacrifice ile ilikuwa inafanywa katika the temple of God in Israel it was an uh, yani it was uh, a sacrifice ambayo ilikuwa inafanywa na na kondo ama enox ama ndume and this one was the way of worship sasa nasema walikuwa wamefika pahali kwa vile walikuwa wachafu unajua unajua the sacrifice hapa ndio watu hajui hata wale wana wa Israeli hawakujua that the sacrifice ambayo alikuwa na, anafanya pale anachukua kondoo ana sacrifice god was looking at the sacrifice of the heart god was not interested in hiyo ngombe anachija pale ama hiyo kondoo anachija pale yeye yeah, alikuwa anaangalia kama the heart is truly sacrificing unto him And when you throw the sacrifice unto God it is to slew yourself. Watu wajui. Hii ox ambayo inaongelewa pale, hii kondoo ambayo ilikuwa inachinjwa, ambayo ilikuwa inachinja, ni huu ni huu mwili, ni tamaa za mwili. Huu mwili ambayo unaukataa, wakati unakataa mwili, kabisa mambo ya mwili, you are sacrificing unto God. Hivyo ndio inamaanisha. Hmm? Kwa hivyo wao hawakujua hivyo. Hmm? Wao hawakujua hivyo. Na ndio nasikia na, anasema he that killed a ox is as if he slew a man. Sijui kama tunaelewa na pale. Yaani wewe unaenda kutoa kondoo lakini Mungu akikuangalia ni kana kwamba wewe umeua mtu. Maana ile iko ndani yako wewe ni muwa ni muwaji. Wewe ni muwaji. Wewe ni kama unaoa. Yaani you are doing a sacrifice ile inaonekana hapa na watu na, na macho ya mwili lakini wewe ndani yako ni muwaji. He that sacrifices a lamb 
as if he cuts a, off a dog's neck. Kwa hivyo nikumaanisha wewe unachinja kondoo pale lakini ndani yako ni kana kwamba unakata umbwa nini? Shingo. Kwa hivyo nikumaanisha God is not going to accept your sacrifice. Hivyo ndivyo walikuwa. Hivyo ndivyo walikuwa. Je wakati huu is it not the same? So the true worship of God is an elevating thing. Then are they called to the most high when they are called to the true worship of God. For it raises the soul to the most high. Men's inventions are a low, base and unworthy things. Ukienda in the same fast in asema none at all would exalt him. None at all would exalt him. I would like us to read the same Hosea. The same Hosea in asema namna gani? Hebu soma. Hapana hata mmoja atakaye mtukuza. Hapana hata mmoja atakaye mtukuza. Sasawa. Okay, none at all would exalt him. Kwa hivyo hakuna hata mmoja age exalt Mungu wakati huo. Nataka usome Nehemiah 9:5. Nehemiah 9:5. Ibu soma. Toi soma. Nehemia. Eh, 95. Nasema. Ndipo walawi Yeshua na Kadimeeri na Bani na Hasbaneya na Sherebia na Hodia na Shebania na Bethahia wakasema Simameni mka muhimidi bwana Mungu wenu tangu milele na hata milele na lihimidiwe jina lako tukufu ilo tukuka kuliko baraka zote na sifa zote Yes when his will is made the rule of all our ways hawa ni watu ambaye waliweza wanainua Mungu kuliko yani kulingana vile natakana lakini wale walikuwa wamefika pahali even to praise god was a problem even to, uh, to exalt him none at all would exalt him you know to exalt here nataka labda tuielewe kidogo kwa sababu eh, sometimes to exalt god we make a mistake wakati tunafikiria there is no way you can exalt god wewe ufikirie ati kuna vile unaweza kuisalt god watu wanafikiria wakati unasimama unasema mungu ainuliwe 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 sasa wewe unafikiri sasa you are exalting god you are doing nothing hiyo ni false teaching na imefundishwa katika anti christian churches of the present generation that wewe sasa watu wanaenda wainua, wanainua mikono juu wanaanza kusema ainuliwe 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 kwa sababu wanafikiri that is exalting you are not exalting god because god he cannot be exa- yani exalted by our actions external actions zile zinaonekana na binadamu kwa sababu huyo anafanya hivyo na mikono anaweza kuwa his heart is very far ni kweli sasa ikiwa his heart is very far na yeye anasema ainuliwe akirukaruka kweli his external action itakubalika na Mungu maana god looks at the heart sio mwili na ndio naona wengi wanafikiria that is hiyo ndio Mungu anainuliwa so how do we exalt god you exalt god when you do things according to the will of god When God is glorified in your heart that's when you exalt God. Unaweza kuwa hata uweze kunyia hiyo mikono yako at watu wa kuona at unasema sijui ainuliwe whatever. But if you do in accordance with the word of God you are exalting God. Mungu anaonekana ndani ya roho yako. 
Lakini sio ufikiria ati wewe kuinua mikono juu na whatever hiyo ndio una exalt Mungu. Mungu God is not exalted in that way. So God has exalted himself in all manners that we can see. And in fact, all what we see in nature, all what we see surrounding us, God has expressed himself. He has exalted himself. What we see is all the work of God. Sasa wewe by yourself vile uko, you there is no way you can exalt God if your heart is not in harmony with the will of God. That's the only way you can exalt God because God want to be seen through who? through you. So God want yeah, you are the image of God. You are created the image of God in Christ Jesus. So the moment your character, the moment you, you, you attain the image of God, the more you are exalting God. But ukifanya haya mambo atina vitendo na mikono na whatever thinking that you are exalting God hiyo yote ni wo ni wongo sasawa Psalms 21:13 inasema namna gani Soma Ye bwana utukuzwe kwa nguvu zako nasi tutaimba na kuhimidi uweza wako So be thou exalted Lord in thine own strength Sijua mbona unasikia vile anasema Be thou exalted Lord in thine own strength So will we sing and praise thy power Kwa hiyo kama nikumaanisha yani God is be, should must always be exalted through his own power his own strength because we we are part of God So we, we so we sing and praise thy power. Sasa hapa nikumaanisha whenever you are you are exalting God you are exalting the strength of God through you when I'm singing in line in harmony with your will I'm exalting your power. Sasa I'm exalting your power your strength because I'm part of your strength. Hivyo ndio inamaanisha I'm part of your strength. Lakini kama mimi nafanya mambo kulingana na tamaa zangu na mafikra yangu na hata nikisema na mdomo at I'm exalting God hiyo ni yangu. If my heart is not in harmony with the will of God. So God has little honor in the world. None at all would exalt him. Men seek to exalt themselves, but none to exalt God. They seek to exalt themselves. Every man follow his own ways and his own lusts. But the blessed and glorious God is exalted by few or none. Wengi wangu wanataka kujiinua na kufanya kulingana vile wanataka. But God is exalted by very few. Wadogo sana ndio wanamuinua baba. Na ndio wanamuinua Mungu. Wadogo wachache sana in this world. Wengi wanataka wata kujiinua na wanataka waonekane. Utakuja kuona in every little thing man is doing in this world, he want to exalt self but not God. We all know that. So men will arise to lift up antichrist. The kings of the earth will give their power to the beast but none will exalt the Lord. Sasawa. 